welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Amber, and on this channel, we review fragrances and body care, and we spill, sip a little tea from here and there. Your sis may go left, but that's okay. Just subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. We'd we'll love to get to know you and meet you, and hey, family, hey, I hope you all are doing well. Hey, new family, I see y'all coming in. I hope you all are doing really well. Well, let's get right back into it, honey. This is part two of a catch up and about my vacation. If you are interested in a good old story time, some laughs, because you know anything vacation and yo sis, girl, I got some stories. See, I got some stories. Cause it's me. We gonna have some stories. <laughs> so let's pick up where we left off, which was Turks and Caicos. And I said, honey, we gonna talk about some donkeys, mules, Donkey donk, you know. Um, so we arrived in Turks, and let's say, honey, they donkey population. <laughs> it's like squirrels in America. Okay, there was donkeys in the backyard, in the front yard. There were donkeys for day. Okay, um, I will say some were kind of malnutrition, like they were really skinny. I don't, so I don't know. I don't want to say, you know, I, was, I don't want to say that they weren't eating, but they were skinnier. But then again, I don't breed donkeys, so maybe they were their right size. I don't know. They look very skinny, but donkeys were everywhere. Okay, donkeys were everywhere to the point we were on a rum tour um and we were on a party bus the donkeys was chasing the party bus mm -hmm. yep the donkeys were chasing us yep 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 <laughs> it was like a herd <laughs> i'm like what is going on what in the world um but i love the tour i love getting to see like their school um, their college, their high school, there were kids that were still in school, they had uniforms, really, you know, their court system, courthouse, all of those things. Like, I loved really being a, like amongst the people or seeing, you know, really how they live on the island. So, really cool. Now, the rum part of it. One, because it is a vile drink that turns even the most respectable men into complete scoundrels. Honey, I mean, we had like rum punch on the bus, which was really good. But I don't know what the rum was or what type, but they're not. They was doing the shots. I told my man, you go first, I go second, right? You test out the scene. And if you good, then I'll test out the scene, right? <laughs> um, so the first one, not so much. The second one was like a um, darker rum. And so it was like more age. So that was kind of smooth. That was cool. The last one was mixed with, I think, like pineapple or coconut, I think it was. No. Mm -mm. Tap me out to that, okay? <laughs> um, but we got to get off the bus and experience some food. Um, they had some food trucks and um, really good when I tell you I had the jerk chicken, um, they did have like oxtail av available um, for purchase, but I didn't get oxtail. I think he got the ribs, but I did get the jerk chicken amazing. Um, they had like rice. With oh, it was so good. Okay. So, so, so good. Like amazing. Better than the cruise ship, but let's not even go back to that. So okay? that better than the cruise ship food. Like, mm. Mm, that would be a whole nother video, okay? But it was so good. But we went into this store. When I tell you, I was like, is this Neiman Marcus? Is this fragrance heaven? Because they had so many fragrances, even Middle Eastern fragrances. They had um, perfumes, the Mar like they had high end to low end. They had so many designer, like, they had so many fragrances, okay? And I think I was like, I should have got something there. I didn't, but my man did. He he ended up getting about nine fragrances by the end of the trip. He is addicted, okay? He tried to tell himself that he is not addicted. He, he, he has a problem, 
Okay. Um, it's okay. He can smell good, but he he do have a problem. And, and he tries to blame it on me, but honestly, I just give the information. Mm -hmm. If you become addicted in the fragrance world, that, that is not me. My mom even told him that that is not me. That that is you as a person. I'm just telling you my experience. You know, anyway. So, but I was so surprised how much variety of fragrances that they had in this store. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, but anyway, the tour took us to the beach, right? We are at the beach. Mm -hmm. Only us, right? We're, we're in the water, in the Turks water, you know, and everybody's like, oh, dipping in the ocean, me in the ocean, right? Just, just having a good time. Mm -hmm. Only us. Does my man get attacked by a school of fish? Not lying. Mm -hmm. I wish I could record it. Mm -hmm. Not lying at all. He got attacked by a school of fish. There was a big fish in the water. Probably trying to chase after the small fish. But all the fish done got into his face. Like was attacking. You know. Hit his face. And it was a school of them. It was a whole bunch of them. Um, <laughs> yep. Only us. You know. It just happens like that. Um, and another only us, right? The ship is leaving at, I think it was like 4.30. Ship was supposed to go and all this. T tell me why the tour bus, you you know what time the tour bus came back to get, get us? You guessed it. 4.30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boat leaving at 4.30. You come pick us up at 4.30. So, we is we is not in the mood. They like, you know, hey, you want some rum? And, no, we don't want nobody's rum punch. We want you to get us to the ship. We we luckily the boat didn't leave us. They said that because the tour was associated with the cruise ship, they wouldn't have left us. But either way, you know, that just doesn't feel good um, for you not to be on time. We we don't want to experience them problems. You know, we, we, we just don't. <laughs> anyway. So we got on the boat safely. Cool, cool, and cool. All right. Um, <laughs> another highlight. Clearly, the, my man, he was very known on the boat. He, he was the famous guy. Why? Because of karaoke. Girl, he was the karaoke king. Because he had the singing and the performance piece. And the guy that was over the program or over the <laughs> karaoke, he done deemed the man. He said, you are the new cruise director. Honey, okay, so, so, so my man's famous, okay, on the boat. Okay, great. H honey, we done played this game. I, and I'm not going to say much. I'm not going to say much about this game. But this game... At one point with this game, mm -hmm, and it was like an after dark game. At one point in this game, my bra was off. It was like a scavenger hunt. My, my bra. <laughs> the girls that was in the group, my my bra, that he, he my bra was off to, to collect three bras to for the scavenger hunt to, to take. I'm not gonna say no more about that. I, I was just not gonna say no more about that scavenger hunt. But all to say, it was fun, but the fool it, the foolery was real. Okay, <laughs> moving on. So next up, we went to the Bahamas, and it was okay. It wasn't really my favorite um, port or whatever. Um, and it was cool, right? We had a little, you know, drink, da 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 da. We walked around, but it was so hot and humid and sticky. Um, we did have like a tour that we did, but it was just touring their private island. So I didn't get to see the people, which I really wanted to see um, the people. Like, I like to see um, when I go somewhere, like people in their like setting or you know they're living i like to see those things anyway i like to see the culture uh but didn't i saw the people that was on the ship anyway uh, <laughs> but the cool thing was we were able to like 
see a class or like um, another like area where they were doing this stingray um, exhibit for people or um, an excursion, stingray excursion or something like that. Anyway, they were feeding the stingrays and they were feeding it with conch. And so we got to see like the conch coming out of the shell. It was really interesting. It looked like a huge snail um, from afar. I mean, we were right there, but it looked that's what it looked like from like not seeing it up, up close, but uh, um, <laughs> it looked very big. And um, it was funny because two girls were screaming. It was it was hilarious. So I probably would be doing the same thing. Uh, but we were also able to see like some horses. We went to the, the beach a little bit. So it was cool. It was a good day, but we went back to the boat early. It just wasn't, it was very hot, but it just wasn't the vibes that I was wanting. I liked, I like culture, but <laughs> moving on. So next, you know, we went back, we headed back to Miami for a few more days. So all together, it was a really good trip. I really appreciated like the quality time and just having a break from work and all of that. But I did want to talk about some of the fragrances that I wore on my trip. Um, of course, because this is a fragrance channel. <laughs> of course, let's talk about it, okay? Let's talk about this one right here. Miami Nectar. I thought, this is beautiful. Let, let's start there. Is this beautiful? Yes. Does it smell good? It smells really good, sis. Okay? Really good. Mmm. Smells really good. Very vacation. Very tropical. Very, like, I think guava might be in this. Very fruity, tropical type of fragrance. My thing with this is just the last thing. I wish this lasts longer because it's so beautiful. Um, and I don't know if it's because, I mean, I really... Well, maybe I didn't overspray. I thought I did good with the spraying. But either way, I really wish this would have lasted a little bit longer for me. Um, it was light. Um, it was refreshing, right? It's a very refreshing tropical scent. But just the lasting power in it wasn't eh, so good. And I didn't get any compliments on it. But... Smelling the initial one, cool. I just don't know if, if I'm going to get a full bottle. Or I might put it on a wish list and somebody else get the bottle for me. I don't know if I would purchase, okay? But some of the other fragrances that I wore, Floral Street. I just talked about this. I'm getting this because I combined this and this Seven Virtues Amber Vanilla Ooh, baby, these are both almost gone. Like, this is here, and this is right here. When I tell you, so good. I mean, you have to, like, be up close. My man, he complimented me on this combination, but it is so good, okay? Now, that also doesn't last long, but it is so good just for the lounge restful days, okay? I also wore... Um, Centau Complete and um, had it here. It was really good. Love that. You know, clearly it's almost gone. So really enjoyed that fragrance. But I will say out of all these fragrances that I brought, because we're not going to go through all of them, right? But these are like C, we have like Moogler, we have uh, Dolce Gabbana Devotion I had on the trip, you know, Beach Walk. From Replica, really good, very beachy. I wore this on the like, second half of the trip when I was in Miami. Like really good to walk around with. Cute, cute, right? Very cute, very cute. Um, I'm watch Guidance, really good. I wore this to one of the dinners on the ship. Amazing. So this is the um, Valentino. This is the Green Stravaganza perfume that has the tea note. Very good. I don't know if I will get a full bottle of this, but it was very pleasant. Very good. I did have a spa day on my trip, so that worked really good for our um, couples massage that we did. Very cute. Cute, cute, cute. Um, and then, 
Honey, we'll talk about this more, but Parfums de Marley Valaya, honey, it's right here. It's a swallow. That got compliments, you know, very pretty. Very pretty, okay? But out of all these fragrances, okay, out of all the ones that I showed you, the one that I got the most compliments, when I tell you I was in the elevator, got a compliment, I was walking and got a compliment, I was in, like, I got so many compliments on this fragrance. And mind you, I had Fragrance Dubois, Suntal Complete, like, I had some bangers. I had some good ones that I didn't get as many compliments. But I said, I had to bring this to the family. I have to tell you all what I what fragrance I got the most compliments out of all the ones that I brought on my trip, right? I was even see past you, like I was smelling good. Can you guess? Angel Nova from Moogler. Moogler, Moogler. Angel Nova, I received the most compliments on Fruity Baby Delina. <laughs> I mean, to a point, do you see something? It's gone. It's gone. It was full. It is gone. This is how much I wore this because I received so many compliments. This is Beat, Fragrant, Stubois, Suntile Complete. Like, I got some, not as much as this. This did good in the tropical heat. Okay, I was getting on a tour. And she said, who smells, who smells good? Who smells like that? Me? And I, and I gave her my wrist. She was like, oh, yeah, that's you. What is that? And I said, Angel Nova. And one of the other ladies was like, oh, I saw um, that on the ship. I Oh, that smells really good. This was a hit. Okay? So when I say those who have Angel Nova and you have a trip coming up, sis, don't leave it behind. Don't leave that fragrance behind. She was the star. The bottle, is Angel Nova is a star. She was the star of my entire trip on all the fragrance that I had. And I oversprayed. I told you, my, my fragrance Dubois, it was all the way up here. So I oversprayed. But nothing could compare. Nothing could compare with the compliments that I got on that fragrance. So, came home. Got home safely. Unfortunately, my vacation high was short-lived when my boss talked to me the first day I got back. <laughs> he started out asking me, oh, how was the vacation? Da, 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 da. Then all the other, then, then my high came down and all the, the BS that he, he, to follow. So either way. <laughs> I enjoyed my vacation. Thank you for um, being patient with me while I was gone. Um, I did give you all videos. Hopefully you all enjoyed them. I did work hard to get that you know, together for you all before I went on vacation. But I am back. Premieres are back. Um, and so I'm excited to be back with my family and Honey, more to come, okay? This is the birthday month, so we got some hauls coming up. We got the things. And to all of my Geminis out there, Gemini season, uh, Gemini season. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. <laughs> my Gemini, oh, my Gemini. Happy birthday to my fellow Gemini family members, okay? Hopefully, you are celebrating your entire month, okay? Sis, do it big, or bruh, do it big the entire month, okay? That's one thing about Gemini, right? 
<laughs> Forget the day of our birthday. We're taking the entire month. <laughs> plus, 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 right? Uh, but you all have a great time. Enjoy your days, okay? Those that have some vacations coming up, honey, if you don't, even if it is in the States, try to get away, get a vacation, even if it's a stay vacation, get away, go to a hotel. Like you always need just a debrief, right? Just, just, like just a woosa, okay? From life and people and just, honey, just do one great thing or a weekend or a week if you can, for yourself, wherever that is, okay? But enjoy, enjoy any vacations coming up, okay? I love you, family. Thank you for sticking with my story time because you all know, like, it's just some of these things, you you can't make them up. <laughs> you like, sis, only, uh, only me. Mm -hmm, let's go. <laughs> but we made it back safe, and I will see you next time. Make sure that you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, Comment down below. I would love to get to know you and make sure that you are good to yourself. Give yourself some grace. And if no one has told you that you are more than enough, to, yeah, your sis just did. Bye, family. I love you so much. Bye.